We are covering the LBMA conference in collaboration with the CME group, and our guest today is Will Tankard. He's the research director of mining over at Thomson Reuters GFMS. Will, good to have you on the show. Please join you. Thank so you. So let's start with your uh, thoughts on uh, the mining uh, landscape right now. Uh, obviously, it's been a tough couple of years uh, for the mining industry. How many companies do you think are, are, are doing well right now overall? Okay, what we've been seeing has been obviously producers cutting mm -hmm. as the price uh, dropped sharply in 2013. And that is always going to be a slow adjustment to take place. But what we saw in the first half was producers on average uh, reducing their costs by around about 7% uh, looking at total cash costs. Um, what we have seen in terms of the average now total cash is that the producers are generating uh, uh, production at around about $700 an ounce. Once you add in sustaining capex, uh, corporate costs, right. everything else, you're probably, uh, you're probably getting that figure up to uh, over, over 900, probably close to 1,000 bucks. Now- Which is still pretty good, right? Um, it's just about okay. So, you know, the, the yeah. producers are en masse washing their face, but, uh, but it's actually pretty special when it comes to justifying right. capital expenditure right. for new projects. So you know, we have seen, uh, we've seen producers uh, cut their costs, but a lot of what we've seen so far has been uh, either foreign exchange related with a strong dollar, right. uh, with the producers uh, in, right. uh, in the domestic currencies having seen depreciation. Right. So that translates naturally to, uh, to lower costs on a dollar right. denominated right. basis, or the flow through from, um, from lower oil prices. So we've seen a lot of passive cost cutting as a result of that. What we haven't really seen a huge amount of is, uh, is producers really, uh, really cutting operations uh, very dramatically in terms of uh, reducing their, uh, their core costs. Okay. Is there a price point at which it gets really tricky for producers? So if gold should fall down to X price, that's when it gets really tough? I, I think that if, um, if prices were to remain at, uh, let's say, 1050 to 1100, then you would start to see a gradual tapering off of production. If we saw prices dropping below 1000 into the 950 sort of levels and staying there, I think we'd start to see quite rapidly uh, production falling off, uh, falling off from current record levels around 3,100 uh, 3, tons. Well, you mentioned that obviously companies took a lot of uh, measures to cut costs, but do you feel that? they've done enough or should mining co be companies be doing more? That's a good question and uh, ultimately it's, uh, it's probably one for the, uh, for the investors. Um, arguably if they can cut costs more then that's a great development but, uh, but it needs to be considered what the, what the context of that cost cutting is likely to be. If, uh, if the solution is that they move to uh, a higher grade mine plan then what they're going to do is more rapidly sterilize the ore body. So, um, if you're looking for a long-term mining asset, then, uh, then, you, uh, then you don't necessarily have that many flexible ways of cutting costs. So it's, it's a tough one. I, I would say that, uh, uh, that if you're looking at long-term uh, long assets, then you probably don't want to be moving down the high grading strategy. Will Tankard of Thomson Reuters GFMS, thank you so much for being with us. Pleasure to join you. And thank you for watching our coverage here from the LBMA in Vienna.